years ago, Kevin had an idea, he seen something online somewhere about retractable covers and we travelled to Michigan State University to have a look. Um, so now we have close to six and a half hectares under, under cover um, and yeah, we've, we're comfortable with where it's looking. I mean, the, the other logic for the Clavo, I mean, there's obvious reasons for mitigating from, from the rain and the weather, but the other major, I guess, um, option for us was the fact that we have the op opportunity um, with um, some exclusive um, IP varieties, early varieties that we had the rights to with a, with a couple other growers. Um, so it made sense to not only utilise the Clavo shed for mitigating the risk, but to also um, mean that we can manipulate the harvest dates to some degree. So these trees in here, most of these trees in here are an early variety that traditionally comes in mid-December isn't it must probably. It's pre-Christmas. Yeah, just pre-Christmas but with the Clavo shed we're able to close it up in the spring uh, a bit early and uh, bring the blossom on. And the biggest advantage we've had from the system really is the fact with the COVID and this growing system, year two we've probably got 20-30% full production, which outdoors we wouldn't get any. Year three we're probably up to 60%. Yeah, well, the, yeah, well this year this year we've done seven we've averaged seven tonnes of the heat here um, out of this year in, in year three. Now uh, outside um, what we consider 10 to 12 tonne per hectare is probably getting near full production. So in year three, we're probably, as must have said, probably close to 60%. We'll go in year four equivalent to full production outside, which you wouldn't expect outside until year six or seven, possibly. This has been our first year of harvest, pretty much. And, um, our, you know, our returns and our re and, and the reaction from the market was very good. I mean, we produced, you know, we say as good a cherries out of here as we produced anywhere else in the orchard, but also in a time period where there was very few cherries on the market. What we picked in that morning, there's a good chance it could be in Taiwan within 48 hours and eaten you know, a day and a half after it's picked. Because Kevin has a high standard for the cherries in terms of the growing and packing, our cherries are sold $2 more per kg more than the other cherries in the market. It's crispy, it's firm, and it's also very tasty. For the past 30 years, working with Kai Orchard, we have overcame very many difficulties. We were just one of the New Zealand labels in the market and now we're known as CBE, and they are the top label in the market now. And we know there's going to be many challenges coming ahead, but based on how much we have been working together, we know we'll be able to walk through it, overcome it, and continue to take the lead in the markets.